Fider. In this video, I'm going to show you two kitchen products from Metaltex. You might be wondering why do these things deserve a video? Well, at least in my opinion, the idea behind them is really, really cool. Basically, you don't need to uh, glue them to the wall, you don't need to drill into the wall. As you can see, you slim simply slide them uh, into the kitchen cabinet, the base of the kitchen cabinet, of the top kitchen cabinets, obviously with these things and it will stay there <laughs> so you move it wherever you need it you don't even need to figure out from the start where is the best position for this thing because if you don't like it you move it and this thing can go also on the door as you can see here so it's a quite smart design in my opinion and they also include this little rubber uh, feet so you don't scratch the furniture if you install this thing onto the door for example so that's awesome let me show you how this thing uh, goes into the furniture and how it looks and then we will get back to that one one of the rubber feet they tell us to use six so these two are basically excess and one of them was glued uh, so this thing doesn't get uh, lost in transport that's a casualty but still probably if you really want to you can also salvage that one somehow but for me i will not glue them i'm just showing you you simply do this and they come out and glue them in here because i have different plans for this I will show you in a moment what I'm thinking for it. So for now I will just slide it in there and show you how it looks on the furniture. But being careful not to scratch anything, again I'm not gluing this. It will not be in its final position there. Daughters around me, if you hear strange noises, like that. The maximum thickness of the roll, that's the diameter, uh, the inside will go here so the, the the tissues themselves it's about 6.5 centimeters so not really thick rolls go uh, into it as you can see from the picture in here maybe the front picture tells us the same story as you can see these are not hugely thick rolls and the other dimensions are here but this it's not for here it's a total from here to here that's why I, I did <laughs> total moving around that's why I wanted to give you this info you cannot put really thick uh, rolls on them this is how it looks on the furniture honestly quite nice I, I must say it's quite nice it's quite strong so this has a bigger chance of bending than those as you can see here so a roll cannot uh, do anything to it and yes obviously you can put a, a kitchen towel onto it not just rolls so good product and next i will show you on a door and this is how it looks on a door it's thin enough that it will not create issues Tada! good now i will hack it up and modify it to do something really weird to it Okay, I present you here my crazy plan. I'm going to straighten this band and I will put this on top of the fridge. Yeah, it's going to be a bit weird. I will use uh, double sided tape. It should work without any issues, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I could ever get it back into that shape if I need to. So this is a one-way trip by using a vise with some uh, cloth on it so I don't scratch the hell out of this but obviously the paint will crack but uh, that's life the wind sun lose some and it has been done it's as good as I expected it to be this is quite thick metal so 
without hitting it with a hammer you cannot get it straighter than this and I don't need it straighter than this because you will not see it on top of the fridge but you will kind of see this manufacturing defect that they attempted to cover so it will not rust with a bit of uh, clear coat uh, yeah we'll use that to make it level and then I think I have some of this exact color of paint from uh, from my car when I do touch-ups it's about the same gray it cannot be worse than what you can see here so let's get to it find it down as much as I could without scratching even more of the surrounding area now I will remove the protection and uh, paint it prepared the double-sided tape so let's just uh, remove the red protection on it and stick this, uh, this on top of the fridge Ta-da! and it's on yes you can see that bend right there uh, do I care? no I do not care at all because I learned that in life most things that are uh, made by uh, people are not 100% perfect this is not 100% perfect right here where I fixed it but it will not rust and I do not care that it's there and you might be thinking why am I putting this onto a fridge where well 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 the side of this fridge heats up because this is basically its radiator so in the future we will switch from paper towels to simple cloth towels that you can reuse and wash and do whatever you need and this heating up even in the summer it will dry them and uh, yeah I made the holes uh, <coughs> so yeah <laughs> this needs replacing obviously so it's a two-in-one installation thinking for the future so now uh, this is exactly where I wanted it to be exactly how I wanted it to be Let's do the one for the, uh, uh, how do you call those, the mugs. My wife ended up putting a huge roll on top of this one. Uh, and it only works if I rotate it by hand until it goes a bit smaller. And you always want it to be quite, uh, quite close to this end because this is where the strength is. The other one, it's a bit wobbly. And this again is much bigger than what this thing is supposed to hold honestly i don't really think you can kind of get much bigger than these rolls anyway let's get back to the other one with uh, the mugs just got the roll off to show you that i actually put two of the rubbers one here and one here to space it just a tiny bit from the fridge so it will not bump into it every single time and create metal noise now let's do the one for the mugs or teacups or whatever you want to use it for or coffee cups you can either put it on the bottom like the other one or potentially if you have uh, taller spaces inside and you don't want to waste this area you can put them inside the cabinet but for us uh, it will be on the bottom of it and as you can see one end hanging onto the the edge and at the other end we will be using uh, this plastic that they provide just to make sure that everything stays in place because these are quite heavy forgot to point out the size if you need it and this plastic is extremely strong so quite happy about it also nice texture to it one screw that will yes sadly go into the furniture but a tiny screw hole can be covered quite easily if this is ever removed or uh, firstly to make sure it is where you want it attach it without the screw and just later also add that screw but make sure you do not bend this uh, by hanging too many mugs on it before it has the screw and the rest of the rubbers are going in this uh, thing and now let's put it in place 
slide this thing in, play the round by bending this until they perfectly touch on the rubber and just barely touch the tip so the tip is not hanging out or protruding to annoy me. In here touching on the rubbers and at the end they will be touching on the rubbers as soon as I put the plastic with this in. Found this position right here, I didn't want this to come out outside of the edge of the cabinet, close to the coffee maker, close to the sink right uh, next to them. And honestly looking quite okay. And that thing is tightened, so this whole thing is doing its best. And yes, I still need to cover this because IKEA does not provide any cover for them when you buy furniture from IKEA. Luckily, I have some of this from other furniture from Kaufland, I think I got it. And I need to also cover all of them. Did already cover a few. So there's that. But hey, for the purpose of the video... Oh, sorry. Didn't catch that. This thing is working as it was intended, or maybe they want them to be like this. Does it matter? Presumably and probably not. And let's see when they are one right next to the other. And it gets a bit crowded, but they took that into consideration and they kind of have enough room, probably if you have big ones like this, uh, a bit crowded. If you have smaller ones like this, you can put one in one direction, one in the other, and they will have just enough room. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Both products are doing exactly what they are supposed to do. Paint is quite thick on them, didn't find any issues. Price is decent. Uh, both of them are less than $10 a piece and yeah, presumably in your country they are even cheaper because in my country everything is expensive. Just put a few of them uh, for you to understand which is the way they enter and they fit better. This type, conical, and put them like this. This type, if they are uh, big, ah, not fitting really well in there. That's about it for the video. Thanks for watching again and bye.